Okay, we are solving each equation for x. So let's solve for x first. Let's look at this problem, say what's happening to x. Right now, x is being multiplied by both b and t. And then also the c is being added at the end. We always want to undo those things that are added or subtracted first. So we're going to take both sides and we're going to subtract c away. Okay, so what was already there? a minus c. What was already there? bxt plus c minus c. We just wrote both things there with c subtracted at the end. Now we got to simplify that. How do you simplify this? This cancels out right here. Those are inverse operations and they cancel out. So you get a minus c equals bxt. Now, what's happening to x? Because we're isolating x. x is being multiplied by b and t, which we could just put together to say bt if we wanted to. So what are we going to do? We're going to divide both sides by b and t or bt. Okay? And this will cancel out that, and that will cancel out that. And what you get is a minus c over bt equals x. That's the answer. That is the answer. And I'm going to do a proof on it just so you see that the answer is correct. Proof. Take our original equation. Unchanged. Wherever x is, plug in what you said it's equal to. And note this. This b times b cancels out this divided by b. This times t cancels out this divided by t. And what are you left with? You are left with just that ac on the top. Oh, actually, sorry. What I did on this step, I wrote this earlier. I first canceled out the b, just the b. And I showed you that this was left. And now I'm going to cancel out the t on the next step. Show you that that's left. And now what we're going to do here, we're going to combine these terms together. And what do we get? Oops. We get a is equal to a. And I'm going to give it a check mark because that's what we would look for in a proper proof. Okay?